Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., Julie interviews experts on all areas of clutter, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. Learn easy-to-implement tips on how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award-winning professional organizer and coach, Julie also shares suggestions to help you live clutter-free for a more joyful and fulfilling life. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Do you feel stuck in life? Are you ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Individual coaching and our unique clutter-free living mastermind support people in becoming free, moving forward, and achieving success. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Hey everyone, one of the reasons I started this series is to think outside the box. I want people to think of clutter in different ways, emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual. And today is one of those days when we're going to be thinking outside the box. You know, when I've worked with people as a professional organizer or coach, sometimes clutter is just really stuck and you can tell that it's on a deeper level. And so I want to expose people to different ways that you can help clear clutter that you might not think of. And today is going to be one of those days. As always, I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about hypnosis and that's something you might not have thought of that can help you release clutter but we're going to learn about that and much much more today. Dan Candell is a certified hypnotist, motivational speaker and mental coach. He's hypnotized over 65,000 people and helps people achieve their full potential through helping them change their habits, behaviors and feelings so they can achieve success. He works with people for weight loss, sports improvement, and business professionals to bring their performance to the next level. The unique blend of hypnosis, motivation, and coaching creates remarkable change in people. Welcome, Dan. Thank you very much. I'm so happy to be here with you and everybody else on the call. Now, Dan, briefly explain what hypnosis is and how it works. Absolutely. So, hypnosis is basically getting into the subconscious part of your mind, which is the part of your mind that uh, stores all your habits and your behaviors, your feelings and your emotions. So, getting into that part of your mind, we can actually help you take control or help the client take control and actually help change their habits and their behaviors. So, it's really just a state of heightened receptivity or a state of heightened suggestibility. Excellent. Now, I know some people have expressed to me, you know what, I'm afraid. I've seen that yeah. clucking like a chicken on stage. I think that's probably something here in America and our national consciousness because we've seen it so often. But can you talk about that? Absolutely. So it's no secret I'm also a comedy stage hypnotist. So I hypnotize people on stage all the time. I do about 100 shows a year. I perform uh, in front of about 50 to 60,000 people a year. And I'll tell you, I have never made anyone cluck like a chicken. So I don't know where that comes from, but I think it's old school hypnosis. Um, but I do it mainly to have fun with people on stage. However, hypnosis isn't mind control. So even on stage, if somebody didn't want to do something, they wouldn't do it. And uh, people will say, well, what about there's, there's R-rated hypnotists or there's X-rated hypnotists or whatever. People on stage are always aware of what they're doing, and it's the same thing in the office. People are always aware, or even if you're doing a uh, hypnosis audio where you're listening to the audio and you're being hypnotized, you're always aware, you're always in control, and the hypnotist can never control you or make you do something against your will. Excellent. Thanks for clarifying that because I know that that's important to some people. Now, how can using hypnosis help us release clutter? I'm glad you asked. So, what I do is not just help people release clutter in a physical sense, but in a mental and an emotional sense as well. Um, hypnosis can be used in the physical sense. We actually use hypnosis for hoarders. And uh, both myself, and uh, another hypnotist that is my associate, uh, we use hypnosis in some cases to help extreme hoarding and get over the psychological aspect of it. And one of the ways we do this is by hypnotizing a person and having them imagine what it would be like to have a clean house and what it would be like to decrease their clutter 
and then we associate positive feelings with that. So we'll tell a person while they're hypnotized, imagine a wonderful, clean atmosphere around you and imagine the freeing feelings this is going to give you and now bring in those positive emotions with that. So it helps them release that clutter in a physical sense, but we also help release mental and emotional clutter as well. Would you like me to talk about that a little bit? I would love that because we're about addressing all the clutter on this show. Good, good. Uh, so as you know, a lot of people face stress in their lives. A lot of people uh, just accumulate all these thoughts, whether they're positive, negative, or neutral. But people just accumulate these thoughts and these feelings and sensations that really don't serve them in their lives. And they'll often mismatch things. So something that happened to them a long time ago may still be affecting them in a negative way. And sometimes people are aware of it, sometimes they're not. So we can actually use hypnosis to eliminate those negative influences on people and to help incorporate better patterns. Uh, so what we do is we interrupt an old negative pattern, we help them release the old patterns and incorporate new ones. Uh, one of the ways that this can be done is through forgiveness. So I work with a lot of people who have had traumas and they're still carrying the influence from that trauma on. And one of the ways that I'll work with a person is through helping them forgive the person that did that trauma. And by doing that, they're not releasing that person, but they're releasing themselves and they're gaining freedom from whatever burden that person has caused on them. That's phenomenal. I'm so glad. You know, we talked a bit before, but never know what's going to come up in these interviews. And forgiveness... I have to say, if people could take away two things from the show, practice gratitude and practice forgiveness. And I'm sure. thrilled because I would have never thought of using hypnosis for forgiveness. I think that that's very powerful. Yeah. Now, can you explain to someone who's never been through this process? I mean, you have a great background there. If people are listening, they'll have to check out the video. Like, I'm ready to just to just <laughs> relax now, seeing your wonderful <laughs> office set up. But, so someone walks into your office. Explain what you do. How does a, a session start? And what, what Take us through a session. Yes, yep. Uh, so the first thing that I do is I greet them out in my waiting room, and I have about a 1,500 square foot office space here. Uh, this behind me is my private office where I see people in that big puffy recliner there. Uh, and they, they come in my office and we first do an intake. So I explain hypnosis to them, I explain the session structure so that they understand it, I gain rapport with them so that they feel comfortable. They know that I'm not going to hit them over the head with anything. They know I'm not an evil hypnotist. and uh, They know I'm not going to make them go rob a bank or cluck like a chicken or anything like that. So I clear up the myths and misconceptions. And then I ask them about some of their likes and dislikes so I know what to incorporate into the session. Um, I am very uh, cognizant of taking a client-centered approach. So... Every, the way I work with each client is a little bit different. And from there, once they get have a good understanding of hypnosis, I ask them about what they'd like to accomplish and how they would like to change their habits or behaviors and talk to them about the problem that they came in for. And I focus the majority of my time on the solution rather than the problem. And that helps people move forward. And I use a little bit of what we call waking hypnosis, which is hypnotizing people in a waking state, and quite often they don't even know it. Uh, and then I have them close their eyes and I guide them through a hypnotic process that allows them to change their minds, their feelings, and their emotions in their habits connected to something that might be holding them back. Um, <laughs> So it, it could be for weight loss, it could be for, uh, for traumas, it could be for smoking cessation um, or high performance. So I work with a lot of athletes and work with a lot of business people as well. And you'd be surprised at how clearing that mental clutter can help bring a person's performance from here all the way up to here. Oh, I, I completely believe that. I think mental, emotional, spiritual clutter and physical clutter completely prevents us from moving forward in our lives. Now, I know that everything is individualized, but could you give us a rough estimate about how many sessions usually most people you work with uh, see you for? Yeah, so I usually work with people for between four and six sessions on a short-term basis. 
now I'm actually seeing people a lot more long term because I'm doing a lot more coaching and with it. And what I do is I help coach a person and find out what areas they want to go in, what goals they have, and then I'll actually use hypnosis to hypnotize them to take action. So I'll work with a person if it's something small they want to work on, usually four to six sessions. Uh, if it's more goal oriented, I'll work with them usually for three months. We'll usually do a couple of sessions a month and then follow up with a couple of phone calls and I'll provide them with hypnosis audios to help them take action. Um, and a lot of people I've been working with for the past three or four years, not because they didn't get over their problem, but because they really like the working relationship that we have. Um, and I also do work with people in groups. I do a lot of group coaching. I do a lot of group classes. Um, I do a lot of online classes and also live classes in my in my office. I have a big waiting room, so I reorient that a little bit. And twice a week, I have group sessions in there, so it works out very well. Now, do you you touched on this a little bit earlier? Can you share any additional insights as to what's going on subconsciously that causes us not to be able to release clutter? Yes, absolutely. So our minds will get stuck sometimes. And a lot of times people come in here because they feel stuck. And I have to get them out of this area and moving into this area. So uh, so we have to do that transition. And everybody is a little bit different. But I, I've come up with a, a pretty much of a systematic approach that helps people release that clutter. And I want to give um, an example of something that was bothering one of my clients and she didn't even know it until we used hypnosis to reveal it. So um, a, a woman came in to see me to lose weight and it's like something pretty basic. She was having okay results but she wasn't having great results. Uh, so that means there's something else going on there. So I hypnotized her and to help her subconscious mind reveal to us what was holding her back. And I've worked with a few people in this case, but she said, I miscarried twins about 15 years ago. So she had a belly and subconsciously, if she let go of the weight, she would also be letting go of the feeling that she had those twins still with her. Um, so we had to release that and it was a very cathartic but therapeutic process for her. We released that mental, I, I wouldn't call it clutter, but we really released that emotional block that was holding her back. She came back the next session, Julie, and she said, Dan, I don't know what happened, but I went home and she said, I cleaned everything out that I was keeping from my tw from my twins. She said, I kept just a few little things, but she said, I got rid of everything that no longer served me. I got rid of everything that I didn't need anymore. And she said, that's what I needed to do in order to move forward. Working with her in the next couple of sessions, she was able to lose about 18 pounds uh, after, we, after we did that. So it was it was really beneficial for her to release that mental clutter, it also allowed her to release some of that physical clutter, but it started with an awareness. She had to be aware of what that was that was holding her back, and then we were able to move forward from that. That's really powerful. Now, I have a pretty broad definition of clutter, and it's, in my mind, stuck stagnant energy and anything that yes. prevents you from, from moving forward to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. I think that's a wonderful example. Are there any couple more that you'd like to share that maybe yeah. that are powerful like that? That Again, trying to give people a couple different ideas of how hypnosis can assist them. Yes, absolutely. And you know what? A lot of this has, uh, has to do with, with losing weight because when people come in here to lose weight, it's not just losing weight physically. It's releasing and letting go of the weight on a subconscious level as well, so it no longer holds them back. Um, so there was another woman that came in here again to lose weight. She was having okay results, but it wasn't uh, it wasn't stupendous. It wasn't where I wanted her to be. She wasn't where she wanted to be. She she was losing maybe like a pound a week, which is healthy. But she said, "I know there. I feel like there's still something holding me back." So again, through a hypnotic process, we asked her subconscious mind what it was. She was in her 60s. She went back to when she was 22 
when she married a man that she just didn't love. And within about two years, she divorced him, and she said, I completely ruined him. And again, I wor there's a lot of people that fall in this category. And she said, I ruined him. I said, so how does this weight, how did this weight, this physical weight serve you? She said, well, and these, are, these were her words, if I am fat, I can never do this to a man again. So I asked her, what can releasing this weight do? I said, can you still protect yourself and other people around you without being overweight? And she said, yes. And we did a few other emotional cleansing things, and believe it or not, that one session launched her forward in an exponential way. And, and she, was, she was floored. After the session, she goes, wow. She goes, I didn't even know I could go there. I said, well, we went there. And, uh, and she just released this emotion. She released this, this feeling, this emotion that no longer served her. And it was such a therapeutic process for her. It was great. Now, see, this is such an education for me because you are teaching me things I didn't know about hypnosis. I wouldn't have made the connection that hypnosis is so powerful in awareness because, you know, I am, to be the best version of me, I'm constantly working on myself and, and figuring it out. You know, my philosophy is it's all about me. So what do I need to bring it back home? And this is just amazing that it has a power to do that because it all starts with awareness. We can't change it if we don't know what it is. Exactly. And, and you know what, Julie, I'll tell you, this is where I'm working with people on a long-term basis. So I'll work with them over the course of about three months um, because it gives us a good amount of time to be aware and to move on so we don't have to pack everything in four sessions. Because sometimes uh, it can be a little overwhelming to do in, in just a short amount of time. So uh, that's where I'm working with people on a more a long-term basis. Um, and a lot of people have a need for this, and a lot of people want to work with me. And uh, but I work with so many people. <coughs> excuse me. I work with so many people, it's hard to uh, work with everybody that wants to work with me. So that's where I... I put together uh, some programs online that actually do the same exact thing that we do in the office. It's done a little bit differently, uh, but it's still just as powerful. Can you also tell us um, how someone knows to find a qualified hypnotist and what it means to be certified? You know, I had, I really, one of the reasons I asked you about the session, you said typically four to six unless people coach you, is because I got in a situation here where I saw an acupuncturist, and I'm not going to embarrass myself too much, but mm -hmm. it got, I won't even tell you, and I became friends with someone who's an acupuncturist and said, that's just ridiculous. I mean, like 70 sessions, something that was just nuts, and I ended up having to go to the BBB to get the rest of my money back, and it was a nightmare, but I hope, you know, for people to avoid that. So how can they know someone's qualified? And talk yeah. about certification. Absolutely. So I'm also a hypnosis instructor, so I teach other people and certify them. However, I certify them through a excuse me, an international organization, and it's called the National Guild of Hypnotists. The National Guild of Hypnotists is the world's largest and oldest organization for hypnosis. They have over 14,000 members in 42 different countries. And we have a curriculum that we go through to train hypnotists. And I, I actually just got through one of my hypnosis trainings. And <clears throat> uh, I train smaller groups of people. So I usually train between 5 and 10 people at one time. In order to take the training, uh, they have to have a minimum requirement of 100 hours of training. Uh, some sort of face-to-face -face training. And in my class, I have them work with clients, so I actually supervise them. I bring real live clients in so they can work with them once they know the, the core foundation. So you have to go through a, a certification. However, there are no... Um, there are no... Uh, requirements or licenses for hypnotists so you do have to be careful because unfortunately someone now can open up a book can read a book about hypnosis and call themselves a hypnotist so you do want to make sure that you do find a qualified hypnotist and you can find one on the National Guild of Hypnotists website in your area 
uh, and it's ngh.net. As in, as, excuse me, N as in Nancy, G as in gold, and H as in Howard. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so ngh.net, and they'll give you a list of hypnotists uh, in your area. Uh, and I'm also vice president of the Massachusetts chapter of the National Guild of Hypnotists, so if I can't see people, I'll often refer them to another qualified hypnotist uh, in Massachusetts. Excellent. Now, anything else you'd like to add or that I've forgotten to ask when it comes to releasing clutter through hypnosis? You know what? I think just to let people be aware that it doesn't have to take a long time. Uh, change can happen. Transformation can happen very, very quickly when it's done the right way. And I have, I've seen and heard of people, just like you said, um, they've been to therapy or they've been to other, other treatment facilities where they've been going for upwards of 10, 12 years. And people say, you know, we came to your sessions and we got more work done in a few weeks than we've gotten done using other modalities over the past 12 years. Uh, so it's really that powerful. It really is about awareness, about releasing, about letting go, but it's also about moving your mental game, if you will, and your performance from this area all the way up to this area. And they consider me to be a high-performance hypnotist for a reason. So that's why I do I get the best in people. Excellent. Now, can you share an area in your life where you had clutter and how did you overcome it? And it, hypnosis or physical clutter, your yep. choice. Okay, absolutely. Um, so, one of, <laughs> this is embarrassing, but I'm human, okay? One of my um, biggest uh, issues with clutter is actually taking online classes. I was an online class junkie. Okay, I would see an online class, and I don't care how much it was, I would buy it. I spent uh, like three thousand dollars on one training, six thousand dollars on another training, two hundred dollars on another, and my inbox was cluttered with <laughs> all of these trainings. And finally, I said, "Oh my gosh, I feel so overwhelmed. So when am I going to do that? You know, when am I going to get through all this?" So I put a stop on all of that, and. I actually use self-hypnosis to help myself get over that because you can hypnotize yourself. I use self-hypnosis to help find out where that's coming from and to find out how to resolve it. And it turns out it was a, for me it was mental clutter of feeling that um, I always had to improve myself and instead of using what I knew, I was always trying to learn uh, learn somebody else's way of doing it and ignoring my way of doing it. So using hypnosis, I was able to empower myself, inspire myself to say, use what you know and use what works for you instead of trying to be somebody else. Um, and I find that's true with a lot of people. And I use hypnosis to help other people in the same way that I help myself. And a lot of the ways that I help uh, help people, I help them through th through things that I've actually had to help myself through. Uh, so it works out very well. It, it complements it. Excellent. Now, one last tip to share for people to release clutter in any area of their life. Absolutely. One of the best things that you can do is as you fall asleep at night, when you fall asleep, you go into a receptive state that is uh, very similar to hypnosis. So as you fall asleep at night, just close your eyes and tell yourself 10 times, and you can do this with your fingers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or you just count on your fingers, and you say, in every day and in every way, I am better and better. And you think about yourself, you imagine yourself, you picture yourself getting better and better in whatever way you want. That is a way to positively program your mind to start reaching and achieving your goals because it all, Julie, starts with a vision. And you have to have that vision to move forward in any area of your life. So that will help hypnotize and declutter your, your mind, your life, your spirit, and your body. Wonderful. I love that. I'm going to, luckily, we record these things because yes. I can't remember everything, although this is easy and it's something that. Again, one of the things that motivates me is no excuses. There are options here that you have. We have this interview. People are going to be able to gain tips from that no matter 
what. So no excuses. Now, Dan, tell everyone how can they find out more information about you, all that good stuff. Excellent. So uh, if you're interested in a live hypnosis session or a coaching format where we do work together for three months, it doesn't matter what area of the country you're in. We work over the phone and or via Skype. You can find me at mahypnosis.com. Think about it, Massachusetts, hypnosis, mahypnosis.com. Uh, I also am putting something together for the listeners of this, uh, of this podcast, and that is a free three- to four-part mini weight loss series about how to lose weight. So I actually put together a free series uh, where I share the secrets that I tell my clients. So I share the same secrets, and to get access to that, you go on Hypnotic Weight Solutions. Hypnotic Weight, W E I G H T, solutions.com, and you sign up, and uh, I'll send those three videos to you. All right, everyone. We've got a great little exercise we learned today. So at night, you're going to be able to do this. Maybe when you wake up first thing in the morning, or if you're in that in between state, just don't do it driving. That's all no, we have. No, don't do it driving. Don't do it driving. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dan. And I want to encourage everyone, go out to clear some clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Do you feel stuck in life? Are you ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Individual coaching and our unique clutter-free living mastermind support people in becoming free moving forward, and achieving success. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Thanks for tuning in to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of 10 Clutter-Free Living Tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's coaching, e-books, online monthly decluttering classes, how to organize your life, office hours, and her unique clutter-free living mastermind at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. You can also watch all episodes on YouTube or download on iTunes and more. Join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.